The question is, is this the storm of the century or is it the shape of things to come? We're going to take you on a little tour of what's happened here in Florida and uh, the symphony of destruction that has followed. What you have to remember is this is just not an isolated storm. This is a storm that's going to be in your neighborhood someday too. Climate change is here. There's no denying this as a fact. For over 20 years, we have been trying to tell people to prepare and get ready for the new reality. The new reality is, is our weather is unstable and these type of catastrophes are gonna be a new type of war. The fact of the matter is, the government spends about 50% of all the money it collects on national defense. That's all the armies, planes, and tanks to defend our country. But what's gonna defend our country from the fact that our climate is deteriorating and there's no way to really stop the damage that has been done. This damage will probably continue for years and accelerate. So what is the plan to defend our country from the weather? The effects of climate change is not just limited to the catastrophe itself. There are many catastrophes that are happening. There's also fires, and uh, the effects of this storm has different costs. So there's a cost to the insurance companies and to people that aren't insured that are victims of catastrophe. Well, this could cause a whole change in the cost of your insurance. When you look at it nationwide, the insurance companies will be fighting for survival to be able to pay for the cost of insurance and filing claims that people are going to have through the years. Another cost is government spending. How long can the government go around and bail out every catastrophe that happens? These costs are unsustainable. Uh, it's going to cost more and more for uh, events like this that are going to happen now and into the future. We have to be prepared. Now, climate change is not a political issue. It's not even an issue where you have climate deniers, people that don't want to believe that this is really caused by climate change. Well, it is what it is. So when you look at the news, now it's, there's a catastrophe every week or every month. There's new catastrophes. Climate change is with us. When you look into the solar system and you look at the storms on other planets, that's what we are. We're a planet in the solar system and we're affected by our environment. Our environment uh, is fragile and we've damaged it severely through the years. And there's really no way of turning back the clock and changing the damage that has actually been done. It's like a snowball going down a mountain. It's gained so much momentum and steam, and it's hard to regulate all the different countries and all the different people in the world that cause pollution. Every person on the planet causes an effect. So they have to eat food. Well, our food supply is gonna be also under attack by climate change. At this point, what we're thinking about is survival. How is mankind going to survive these types of incidents? Well, it's just going to take a lot of effort on the part of people that really want to make a change and do things different. But you have to look at the technologies that are here today and how people can take advantage of it and build more resilient places to live and more places to live, period. There's a housing crisis here in America. There's all kinds of victims that can't even find a place to rent because not that they don't have the money because of 
greedy landlords that basically have jacked up the price of housing so high that uh, you can't even qualify even if you make money because you got to make three to four times what the cost of the real estate is just to rent it. So rich people are actually causing homelessness. But getting back to the issue of housing and climate change, these things are all factors in the new age that will become a building for these type of catastrophes. There's going to be a shift in the way that people think because there's going to be climate migration. People are going to be actually moving out of states that are affected by climate change like Nevada where Lake Mead is so low that it probably won't be able to continue to power part of the uh, United States that it uh, currently serves. Uh, another thing is the water factor. There's places that are totally drying up. There's droughts in California underneath the ground. The aquifers are disappearing. There's going to be no water to actually produce food in the future. So there's all kinds of ramifications, but building is a key and survival is a key. How are you and your family going to survive this? Well, it's going to take a lot of work and change. Now, there's a lot of things that are obsolete with our society. And one is, is the way that we've built housing in the first place. Uh, it was uh, originally designed to have a sewer system and a power source that was uh, carried by wires to your place. Well, we don't need wires anymore. There's all kinds of solar solutions and power generating solutions that could power all the power that you need. And you could do it yourself for a cheaper cost than even buying it in conventional housing. Conventional housing is not built to withstand these types of things. Different structures have to be built. And besides what needs to be built, uh, there's all kinds of properties and buildings that are going to need to be rebuilt and fortified and uh, made to withstand different types of uh, stress and environmental issues. Uh, just the environmental factor of the buildings that are in place that are inefficient. This is going to cause a boom in America in industry. People that are in the trade industry, housing industry, construction industry, that are going to have to maintain and build housing to meet a different standard. But these tools and innovations are here today. They have to be embraced. Uh, the stock market is such, it's uh, supply and demand. That's the way it works, is if there's a supply, a demand for something, a company has to supply that. Well, there's going to be a shift. you got to take your money out of uh, dirty energy companies and put them in, in new innovative companies that are producing products now and today. The change has to come economically through uh, commerce in order to bring about the change um, that we're going to be facing in climate. And another thing will be funding. How are we going to put aside so much money to deal with issues that are going to be ongoing? They're not one occurrence. These are occurrences that are going to be happening today and tomorrow and into the I'd like to tell you about our organization that is doing things about climate change. We have created a think platform, a platform that showcases different new innovative technologies that you could start learning about and putting into use for your daily life. Visit Eco Scouts and uh, search us on the internet, you'll find it. Uh, we're here to stay and we're coming up with all kinds of new ways and innovation things. Our organization is powered by people of all ages, from the very young to the very old. People that have embraced the fact that climate change is here.